You know, I am all about a moment of reflection and gratitude, and that is what this video is about. I'm here to say thank you to all of you for tuning in week after week and sometimes day after day, especially if you're subscribed to my other channel and listening to me <laughs> talk about fragrance and life and reflections and sharing in fragrance fellowship, if that's such a thing. We can coin that term, can't we? I am so appreciative of all of you. I have been on YouTube at this point three years and counting and hope to continue making content for many years to come. And I want to say thank you for 15,000 subscribers. Wow. And the other milestone this fall was, I forget exactly how YouTube puts it, but it's something like 1 million views, 1 million views across all of my videos. And that's just very humbling and uh, nearly brought tears to my eyes. Like people clicked in to my videos a million times. What? <laughs> the other thing that super amazes me is that people watch the entire video, a lot of you, and comment. I've responded to comment after comment after comment, literally thousands and thousands of comments, literally thousands and thousands of comments at this point. And you all are engaged and enthusiastic about the content. And what I also love is that you engage with each other. You'll comment on each other's comments and weigh in on fragrances and share your experiences, whether you like something, didn't like something, provide your recommendations and all of that. And we keep it real cute on this channel. You know what I mean? Like we're not in the comments acting crazy. We're not in the comments being mean or ugly. We don't allow trolling over here on this channel. And people who have left nasty comments, they've been blocked. I mean, I might have given them a piece of my mind before I blocked them, but they've been blocked both for my own sort of mental sanity and also for yours because you don't need to be exposed to any foolishness in the comments. You're here for fragrance. And so we keep it cute and we keep it about perfume and what smells good and what doesn't smell good. And we get a, a few little chuckles here and there out of the experiences that we have. So as a way to say thank you to you and in this season of giving and gratitude, which for me starts as fall comes the onset of fall and goes all the way through New Year's. Day is like the period of extreme gratitude, reflection, and gratefulness for me. As a way to say thank you to all of the fragrance friends out here in the YouTube community, I wanted to do a big giveaway. I have some fragrances that were gifted to me that are really fabulous that I would love to pass on to all of you because I either already had the bottle and it was gifted to me, uh, or I think someone else might enjoy them better. And then I have a couple from my own personal collection that were backups, uh, and I don't need them anymore because I have duplicates of backups. These the insanity of that. And what I mean is I have like two or three backups of some fragrances. We're going to talk about that another day, not today. We're not going to go there today. <laughs> about the craziness of that. The other thing that I have are some discovery sets of fragrances that I have tried. A couple of them are opened and I will, sh actually three are open and I will share with you obviously what those are and there are two that are wrapped. So before I share with you what items they are and give you a chance to weigh in as to whether you want them, let's talk very quickly about eligibility. If you've been watching me a long time, you know I do not care for 10,000 rules around giveaways. It feels gimmicky to me. I just don't like that. This is coming from my heart as a thank you to you and I don't want you to be jumping through hoops to enter the giveaway. I do though ask that you are a subscriber to my channel. I think that's fair because I'm paying for shipping to send this stuff out to you. And some of these items I paid for myself. So as a courtesy, be subscribed to the channel. We're going to just use the honor system there. I'm going to trust that you are subscribed. And I also ask that you're someone who has been watching the channel for a while. I was going to say someone who also frequently comments, but I know that there are people that watch that never comment and that's totally fine. Commenting is not a requirement to be in the giveaway, but I would like for you to be subscribed to the channel. So that's my one ask. And if you are interested in any of the fragrances, you'll need to fill out a form. Normally with giveaways, I say, you know, drop a comment in the comment section and tell me which one you want and answer this question. And I'm going to tell y'all, it gets to be really chaotic looking through all the comments and making sure that I've culled them for who's interested and what item they're interested in, and then chasing the person down for their information. My life is crazy have a very, very hectic life with a full-time career, other hobbies, a full family of folks that are running around. I got teenagers, y'all running around the sports and music things and plays and club activities. And I, I just don't have time to be chasing people down. It's a headache. I want this to be fun for you and for me. So if you're interested in any of the items that I'm going to talk about, I ask that you go down into the description box. There will be a clearly labeled Google form. You will need to click that link and go fill out the form, your name, your address, 
an email where I can say, hey, you've won one of the items. And then it asks you to choose one, two, or three of the items that you're most interested in so that I have some options. If there are people that choose, um, there are going to be people that choose multiple of them. And then I will do my best to randomize who gets them. There are eight items behind me and I plan to send those to eight different people. And I would also like to do a special gift certificate more than likely to Twisted Lily. I am an affiliate and a partner with them, but I am paying with my own hard earned cash because I love y'all <laughs> for a gift certificate to Twisted Lily. So you have to fill out that form and then let me take it from there. Okay. All right. Let's talk about what the items are. We're not going to go into super long description. So part of your homework, if you're interested, is to just make sure you check out online what the thing is about, but I'll try to provide some description so you have a sense of what they are. Are we ready? Let's go. Yay. By the way, watch to the end of the video. It's not like a first come first serve like I usually do. I will be looking at the responses later so you can fill out the form after you see what all the fun little options are. So let's come straight out of the gate with the fragrance I think most people will be interested in entering the giveaway for. And that is Mani Kasanat from Navitas Parfums. This is in collaboration with our girl Sharita M here on YouTube. Hey girl, hey. I had already bought Sharita's fragrance. I bought it the day that it launched. And this ended up coming in PR after that. So I was like, oh my gosh, I already bought the fragrance. And I knew right away that I wanted to give this to someone that would be interested in it. And I also have two discovery sets that Navitas very, very kindly sent over. So if you're not familiar with Mani Kasanad, the bottle looks like this. And it is this really lovely, very pleasant, and for me, soft. Some people get really sort of B-smoke performance out of it. I find it to be a little bit more moderate to soft vanilla fragrance with a little, for me, a little bit of smokiness. It has like hints of spice or something that comes across slightly spicy, like fall spicy. I don't think there's anything like that in the note structure, but that's what I'm picking up. A little bit of musky woodiness in the base. So mostly a vanilla fragrance. And it has, like I said, that sort of smoky type of texture to it. And it's fairly long wearing, but soft to the skin. Gorgeous bottle. This one, one of the, I said one, like it's official. It won. <laughs> Hi, hey, a best bottle award in one of my like faux monthly fragrance awards videos. So it's a beautiful big uh, box, nicely packaged. And anyway, this is a whopper to send out and I'm happy to pass this along to someone who would be interested. So that is full bottle number one, fully packaged. I have not opened this one yet. Next up is one from my own personal collection that I thought was discontinued. And so my little silly self went and bought two backups, not just one, two backups of this fragrance. I'm about halfway through my current bottle and still have the two backups. And so I would like to pass one of my backups along to all of you. This, I can't say enough wonderful things about this fragrance. It's one of my all time favorite summer fragrances. This is Terracotta from Guerlain, Terracotta. Fantastic, Le Parfum. I mean, it's called Le Parfum and then it says Eau de Toilette. So anywho, this is a fan, here's the bottle, a fantastic summer solar floral fragrance with coconut and vanilla. It's a nice combination of yellow and white florals, jasmine, tiara, lang lang orange blossom has a gorgeous uh, lovely summery vanilla and coconut i i just adore this it's a little softer it's a very sensual fragrance and listen this is fantastic so somebody's gonna be really lucky to get this bottle i i can't say enough good things about it so this one is discontinued and very difficult to find it is valentino donna aqua oh the opening of this is like the heavens parted almond and pear at the top. You get that creamy nuttiness with that beautiful, sweet, fair note. Then it's a yellow and white floral combination sitting on this luscious bed of sandalwood. This is another one that maybe isn't like the longest lasting, but the opening is fantastic. And the mid and the dry down are very nice too. The opening though is super divine. And the only reason I'm giving this away is because I still am making my way through a smaller bottle. And this is another one that I purchased two backups of when I heard that it was being discontinued. So I still have a full 100 mil bottle waiting for me to open. This is a one point, one point, no, excuse me, this is a fluid ounce, one fluid ounce. So this is 30 mils and would love to give this to someone. You have to know what this smells like because it's discontinued and there's no way to sample it. So if you enjoy a sweet floral fragrance sitting on sandalwood, you have to like almond because that's there in the opening. This is one of the pink studded bottles looks like this uh, from Valentino. 
and lovely. So option number three. So for option number four, the really lovely folks over at M. Mikalev reached out and sent me some fantastic fragrances. We got our wires crossed a little bit about what I would be interested in trying. I thought they had a fragrance called Passion. Still in their lineup, it's actually discontinued. That one is like a deeper, more wintry, uh, oody fragrance. And they, they instead sent me Soleil Passion. And I have sampled that before. So this is opened and was sprayed once, but I doubt that anyone cares about that if you're getting it in a giveaway. Hopefully you're okay with that. And if you're not, it's okay not to enter the giveaway. But I do have the bottle and can send this out in its entirety. It's, for me, this comes across like a fresh musky fragrance. There are fruit notes and are there citrus? Yeah, there's a mandarin orange in the fragrance also, but fruity musky. Um, very fresh and bright and uplifting. I have a lot of fragrances like this, which is why I wasn't necessarily interested in this. But if that is your scent profile, this is a very pretty one and their bottles are really quite nice. So really nice, substantial design and I'm grateful for it, but I know that someone else would enjoy this more. So if you think Soleil Passion is up your alley, some of the main notes are pomegranate, orange, strawberry, and strawberry. I said that on New York, strawberry and... <laughs> some white florals and, and what I consider this to be like the soapy florals, lily of the valley, water lily and musk and, and a little sandalwood, but it's, it's bright. It's a bright, fresh spring into summer fragrance uh, that is non-offensive and very easy to wear. So that is option number four. I say four, four. <laughs> so option number five is also from M. Mikalef and it is the very, very lovely Elang in gold gifted to me by M. Mikalef also. I have a Lang in Gold Nectar, which I slightly, ever so slightly prefer to this one. This one is lovely also. So that is the reason that I am passing this along because I have this scent profile, uh, you know, just slightly different in my collection. Now, the way that the brand describes this fragrance, the, the key notes in the fragrance is a Lang Lang, sandalwood, coconut and vanilla. I think this is a lovely year round fragrance, although people talk about it mostly as a summertime fragrance because of the coconut and the alang alang. And yes, it does have a little bit of an exotic tropical feel without being in the sweet, like tropical fruit direction or tropical drink direction, like the beautiful Leisure in Paradise from Simone Andreoli that I love. This is more, has an exotic feel to it, if, I, if that makes sense. If you understand the note of the Lang Lang and how that comes across, that yellow floral that can feel a little bit, almost like a powdery banana sometimes. And it just has this certain like je ne sais quoi to it. That is this fragrance. Now, this has been compared to Cashmere from Chopard, which I used to own, and they are super similar, like, very, very similar. They could be siblings in the same family. And then also Hani Mori from Hani Mori. It's Butterfly, the butterfly one. And I have that in my collection. So I have this scent profile very similarly in that fragrance as well as the gold, the nectar version of Alang and Gold. So this is a beautiful bottle. I prefer this packaging to the older packaging. I think it's super pretty. And if you're interested in this, know that it has a like a gold shimmer when you spray it out onto your skin. So I want you to be prepared for that if this is a fragrance that you're interested in receiving. And like I said, it will come in the box. The outer plastic wrap that it came in, I have thrown away. So I apologize for that, but you will get this. And I have not sprayed this at all. So this is a fresh bottle, untouched, except that the box has been opened. The sixth fragrance was sent to me for review by my folks at So Avant Garde. I love So Avant Garde and I love the people over there. They are really, really kind to me. I am not a big fan of this fragrance. A lot of folks love this and rave about it. So maybe you will too. And it is Double Attack. Mind Games Double Attack. And this, it says on the box, bitter chocolate and saffron as the key notes. I did uh, try this briefly. I can't say that I gave it, you know, a whole full day wear, but I did sample this. And so it's missing a few sprays. The, the bottle looks like this. And it is primarily a soft chocolate fragrance sitting on vanilla with a little bit of citrus and it has a pimento note and pink pepper. So there's a little bit of spiciness in it also. These bottles are really cool. They look kind of cheesy online, but when you get them in hand, you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, ow, surprise, surprise. They're super substantial. <laughs> They're really heavy and very nicely made. I appreciate a lot of the Mind Games fragrances, and I have probably four others or so that uh, were sent to me from So Avant Garde to try, and those have been hits. 
This one, not so much. However, people that have reviewed this, that like this, describe this as like a gourmand lover's dream if you want something soft and subdued in the chocolatey direction. So you can check out the reviews on this and see if this is something that you would like. These are super pricey fragrances, so I'm very happy to be able to pass this along to someone. So everything from here forward will be discovery sets and I have two, well, I have some, I have some good discovery sets, two that are unopened and pretty large. The first one is from Navitas Parfums. And you may be wondering, Veronica, why are you giving that away? It's because I've tried most of these already. The brand did send this in PR. So I'm always thankful for PR and always grateful to be able to pass something along to a viewer out there that might be interested in what I've already tried. So it makes sense, you know, sharing is caring. So I want to read off the fragrances that are included in here. This is called the Allure, Allure Discovery Set. And Aura Ultime, I'm going to butcher these names. Okay. Aura Ultime, Lux Absolu, Desir Infini, Nuit Royale, Paradise Exotique, Eau Debonair, Divine Aphrodisiac, Sartorial Nuit, Venom of Love. That's the, in collaboration with Paulina Shar. I don't know if others of these are in collaboration with other creators. So that I know of. And then Chocolate Queen, which is in collaboration with Gabby Loves Perfumes. I think it's her name here on YouTube. Raised Spirits, which I own and really enjoy. It's kind of like a, a boozy fall. It's a fall fragrance. I love it. And, and it's been compared to Minuet et Demi, uh, Minuit et Demi uh, from Demi Rawling and Fragrance Dubois. XO Brandy, Creme Imperial, The Key and Viva More. So there are 15 three milliliter samples in here, which is pretty generous for a sample. So you'll get a, be able to get a good sense of whether these fragrances work for you. This is, this is a nice one. Another nice one also from Navitas, but it's their sister house and it's called Viva More Parfums, Viva More Parfums. And this is just called Discovery Set. <laughs> and it's 11, 11 three milliliter samples. And in here you have Reserve Ex Exclusive, Ultimate Aphrodisiac, Akoya, Rouge Imperial, Urbane, Tobacco Supreme, Aura Celeste, Dark Indulgence, Cherry Privé, Creme Exquise, and Addiction Absolute. Addiction Absolute. So these are nice. These are nice. So let's see what else Santa has for us today, shall we? So then I have, and this one, I don't know what those sample sets cost from Viva More and Navitas, but I do know that this Little House of Siage sample set is pretty pricey. By the way, if you're not in the giveaway or don't win the giveaway for this, you can still do a percentage off of this. I'll put it on the screen. I am an affiliate with House of Siage and you can get uh, a discount on this one. But this is their signature collection, signature collection. So it's some of the ones that are most popular. And a lot of these are nice. I did sample these just so I know I have sprayed these. So they're still pretty full. It is 10 uh, 1.8 mil fragrances and it includes Tiara, Cherry Garden, Emerald Rain, Benevolence, Passion de l'Amour, Holiday by House of Sillage. How do you say this? Noé, Noé's moi, Noé moi, Noé's moi. This one. Love is in the air, Chevaux d'Or, and Haute Bijou, Haute Bijou. So this will go to a lucky winner. I apologize for the little fingerprint there, but these are mostly intact. And then the last two items are from Mind Games, also sent to me from So Avant Garde. And the first one is the mini dis dis discovery, the mini discovery set. I reviewed these Mind Games fragrances. I have a dedicated video on the Mind Games fragrances that I've tried. And so I will link that in the description box. Also, if you're interested in thoughts on some of these fragrances, I didn't go through every single one, but I shared some of my favorites. This one has 10 two milliliter samples of the Soulmate Collection. There's two collections. This one is the Soulmate and it is Roy Lopez Gambit, Sissa, French Defense, Emprise, Emprise, did I, how do we, how, yeah. Sans Voix, The Forward, Queening, Vieri and Leonora, Vieri and Leonora. This was fun to go through. Some of the fragrances lean feminine, some lean masculine, and some are unisex. And it's just a joy. This was a fun one. So would love to pass that along. These have been sprayed probably two, three, maybe four times. Some of them, if I was super interested in it. 
And then the final one is a discovery set, but y'all, it's really like, it's travel sprays. So it's a big deal. So this one is the Mind Games discovery set, and they do a big one of these with travel sprays across olfactive families. I asked to try the one that had the amber-based fragrances, and that includes, so you can get a woody one, an amber one, floral, or fruity. I chose amber, friends, because <laughs> it's winter. And in here is Double Attack, Sissa, French Defense, The Forward, and Queenie. And let me tell you, with the exception of Double Attack, I like the others. Sissa is a standout, like sesame seed, like toasted sesame seed fragrance. And I forget what else is in there. French Defense was fantastic. The Forward and Queening are really nice too. I have a full bottle of Queening from So Avant Garde and I'm super grateful for it. It's, it's really, really good. It's good, good. So let me show you how this looks because it makes a nice gift also if you want to purchase this off of the Mind Games website. I do have a code with them. It's Veronica10. And I think you have to purchase it directly off of the Mind Games website. So 10% off with Veronica10. But this is not about that today. Today is about you. And this is what it looks like, Mind Games. It comes almost in. I just realized what this is, y'all. <laughs> this is, I think, made to look like those take with you chess games or like backgammon or those that you can fold in half. It just dawned on me. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's a nice case, little magnetic case like that. And then when you open it, here you go. Little comments here about mind games as a house. There's this kind of um, faux leather cover thing. And this actually sits inside of the back of that, but it's a little booklet with information. And then let me take out these little preservation packets. This is like the, you know what that is. You don't need me to tell you that. <laughs> then it comes with literal, y'all, travel sizes of those fragrances and a container here, which is magnetic and very pretty. No, it's not magnetic. I lied, but it does snap. And it's heavy and substantial and nicely made with the Mind Game symbol. And then you get an actual travel spray of all of the amber fragrances and some strips here to try them out. That's very nice. I appreciate this effort. And then this entire thing comes out, like there's a tab here to pull this out if you want to use the container, you know, for anything else like your other samples or whatever. You guys, this is nice. Okay. I just realized that I cannot count. I told y'all I had eight items. It's actually 11. <laughs> Never mind me. There are 11 items back there that I would love to gift to 11 of you. And then the final thing, the 12th thing, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I could have been doing like a whole 12 days of Christmas thing right here because there's a 12th item. That's like a missed opportunity to do some cute Christmassy stuff with this video. The 12th item will be a gift certificate, more than likely to Twisted Lily, as I mentioned, and I will send that to someone via email. I think it can be like gifted through email. So, so in closing, 12 items, including a gift card, a generous gift card that I'd love to give to all of you. And you just need to be subscribed, friends. That's it. I think that's a fair ask. The Google form will be in the description box and it will ask for your name and your address and your email and ask you to choose three of the things that you're the most interested in. And then I will work with my son. He's going to help me out to sort of randomize the responses and choose from there. I hope you enjoy. Good luck to you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your fragrance friendship. Thank you for sharing all of your thoughts in the comments, for hanging out with me for some of my very long videos, because some of them are long. I really appreciate all of you. I do. And I know that you appreciate each other. So again, happy holidays. Hope you have a fabulous one. I will do my best to choose these folks and get these fragrances packed up and sent out, I would say, you know, by the end of January, I need a little time to, because, you know, things are busy, but I will do my best to get them packed up and sent out to you. So, so you can enjoy them in the new year here. Thank you again. So I hope you have a very, very blessed holiday season and we'll talk again before the new year. But if I don't see you, happy new year. I got some cool videos coming up, including my top 10 for life. I've done that every December now. <laughs> so this will be 2021, 22, 20. this will be the fourth version of that video. I try to do no more than one annually because then is it really for life? It can just be like this year's top 10, but top 10 for life is more dramatic. I will also have the like year in review fragrance awards. That's fun to see what won across all those categories. And then I also have like a festive fragrances video coming up for you. Ah, so much fun here on this channel. Thanks for being here. Take care.